All right, welcome back to Aussie Office today. Um, we're doing an audio install in Lean's Patrol. So we've come to Autobahn. We're gonna buy some new speakers, maybe look at an aerial. Yeah, we're just gonna shop around a bit. So, yeah, so we'll go in there and see what they got. So it's like... Uh, so pretty much looking for a speaker. Thing is, the mounting width from the face to the back of the magnet on the back uh, in the patrol, it's really thin. So it's only like, when I measured the speakers this morning, the magnet's only like 30 mil back from the face. So that way it clears the, uh, the window. But so I'm trying to get a speaker that also has a shallow mounting slim line essentially, um, so that the window doesn't hit. We're not putting a subwoofer in, so we kind of want something with a bit of bass. That's pretty good. That's. Uh, so the other thing we're looking at is a AM FM antenna because the one on my car sucks, it's a factory one and all my radio stations are staticky until I get into certain areas. So looking at getting a different AM FM aerial. Thank you. Yeah. Laughing. Laughing. Mission accomplished. No, that should be alright I reckon. We'll have to wait and find out. Alright, so before we go swapping out speakers, we are going to do a audio test just to see if it's comparable. We'll see how the mic picks it up, see if it's much noticeable. Alright. Alright. So let's... Let's start the stolen. Yeah, let's start doing it. Alright, so we ended up getting the Kicker 300 Max, whatever that means, whatever, I don't know. But all I was going off is that they were cheap. They're under 100 bucks, just under 100 bucks. But they, and we had to listen to them on the sand wall and stuff. We put some music through them and they sounded pretty decent for the price. Definitely better than what's in the car already, so yeah, we'll put them in and see how they go. Alright, so we'll take off the door card and that will expose the speaker. Ah, the idea behind the whole speaker thing, I was also hoping to be able to keep this, but we're just going to have to wait and see because they didn't have much there and I can't really bother buying stuff online, I just want to get something. So we'll see. They don't look big at all, do they? No, they're not. They're tiny. They're only, they say on the back 25 waters, and these are 300 waters. <laughs> not that that really... Yeah, I don't yeah. know if it makes a difference, but... Right. It has the potential, like if you had an amp, yeah. like these would be useless. See, so this one's got a plug. Ah, uh, yep. Whereas, we don't want a plug. See how narrow they are, though? They look like the factory speakers. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Why would they? wouldn't have been changed. <laughs> What's your favourite pattern? 425. I don't know. A hot one. Uh, I'm just seeing if we're going to have to cut wires or anything because that might save us some trouble. Wow, these are pretty deep. Oh, it's not that deep. Oh, it is a little, I don't know if it'll fit. Oh, I'll have to wait and see. But they're just two spade connectors, so we should just be able to use the spade connectors that are already on there. Black to negative, thing out of positive. Yeah, that's positive, that's negative. Alright, where are those crimps? That side. Alright. Alright, it works. Love them. Love them. Love them. Alright, so it came with a couple of crimps, so we just use the wires to find the crimps to connect it to the other ones, and now it works, so we'll mount it up. Now, this is going to be the hard part. Because it doesn't mount flush, it's going to want to pull in all directions. See that? Um, um, get a drill bit that's that size. <laughs> And just do it like that. Oh Jesus, that goes through. We'll be careful that glass yeah, window behind it. Yeah. It'll be like that's on there, and then about there. Like so. So I should be able to just line that up like so. I just hope that's going into the screw hole and not rounding out. How'd that go? Uh, see, see how it's fixed to the door? Yep. Yeah, so that's actually worked. Alright, good. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the drill bit, go straight through, and then put in the other two screws. That in. Yeah, yeah that'll work. And then circle it. There you go. Done. Alright, so we did that side, do the other side, but we'll, yeah, it was a bit of a, we ended up doing it a really simple way, but it didn't really explain it, so I'll, I'll show you on the other side. Good. 
All right, crappy speaker. All right, so strippers, done. All right. Yeah, you got it, that's all right. All right, now we can put the door card on and then we should just be able to hold that up, drill holes, just straight through, and then just put the screw straight in. Yeah, so part of the thing was, um, I was gonna try and make it so I could use these to make it look all factory, but it's just not gonna fit. So, these have covers anyway, they don't look that bad, so we'll just go with them. All right, now that that's through there, we can hook this up. All right, and essentially what we're gonna be doing is, Patrick, you're gonna hold this for me as I drill holes in the door. All right, that's good there. Screwdriver. All right, then we just do the same as the others. Maybe at this point we could really double check they work. Hell yeah. Alright. Alright. Let's, let's, right, let's finish, finish, finish doing it. Yeah, so pretty much, yeah, we stuffed around the fit. Originally I was like under the impression that we're gonna have to use existing holes and stuff like that and like you have to both like mount it up in two parts, but as you can see, you can just do it in one hit. All right, so that's the speakers all installed and hooked up. This side, yeah, literally did in probably like five, 10 minutes. Other side was stuffing around for like an hour and a half. <laughs> so. All right, so we're in the car and we are gonna do a speaker test. Same, same audio. Ah, oh, sounds better already. Yeah. Uh, I want to see. Yeah, see this bit, the violin never used to come through. Really? Yeah. 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 Alright, so, speakers are in. See if you can notice a difference. Let's play the same audio track. Alright, so I can definitely, I don't know how that, how well that picks it up, I can definitely hear a difference in sound. Definitely a lot more bass, better clarity. Uh, I feel like they'd probably go louder too, because they're higher. The old one said like 25 watt. Yeah, so, no, overall, I think a, think a good upgrade for under 100 bucks anyway. I didn't want to spend crazy money, so, yeah, I'm happy with them. Alright, so next thing off the list, GME, AM, FM antenna. Uh, this one just is not cutting it. I cannot get, like, in the spot we are now, I couldn't even tune into Gold 104.3, like it's just crackle. So whether it's just a loose connection or whatever, I don't really like the look of this anyway, and all the mounts have like cracked due to the weather and stuff. So I'm gonna put a whip up the front on the ball bar. So um, let's see how hard we can make it look. <laughs> Is it gonna be rusted in as well? Nice big hole. All right, someone's already tried to pull that one out and they've stripped it. Oh, oh nice. nice. Oh, it snapped. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the that's the plug. Oh, no. Uh, no, that's all right. I'm pulling it all out anyway. Oh, there you go. Phillips heads. Oh, it's on the inside of the... What we might have to do is just cut it, find the other point on the radio at this end, and then just pull her through. Yep, that'd be the one. Yep. I might have to pull this side cover off. There as well. All that dirt and shit. Oh, 20 cents. Lovely. Just uh, there. Pull her through. Done. All right, old cable's out. Now I need to run our new cable. All right, the first step is to run it underneath the grill. Or oh, through the grill will work. Yeah. That'll work. So many people frowning at this right now. Firewall grommet is just there down through the firewall. Yep. One side. Stick that out there. All right, I'll plug that into the back of the radio. All right, that's in. All right, let's do a test. 
Alright, do you wanna... Better than it used to be, hang on. Oh yeah, I never used to pick up 104.3. And we're in the worst possible position, like, just, let me play around with it. I don't get gold 104.3 down here. Oh, I never used to. I never used to get anything on my old radio. I get it down here, but not that. Not as good as yours does. Yeah, well, there you go. Okay, That's so perfect. now it works. Ah, uh, yep. sick. Good speakers, good yeah. reception. It's actually good. It's all... Days yeah. me no speakers so much better. It sounds like... See how loud they go. The loud ass. Copyright issue. <laughs> so tell them you we didn't want to buy the GME ones for like 25 bucks. So we wow. So what happened was we're at Repco and we could have bought a GME bracket thing, which probably would have solved all these headaches. But they cost like 25 bucks for a bracket, and I was like, and we were going to go to Bunnings anyway. So I was like, surely at Bunnings they'll have you know like the same sort of thing. So I went to Bunnings and they all they had was these, and so I was like, oh, I'll be able to get a plate. But now I'm thinking that. The base on these, I think they are specialised for a GME mount for whatever reason. No, we'll make something work though. And then we'll have that mounted there like that. And then we'll have twin whippies on the front. So big shout out for everyone buying stickers. We've got another 10 going off today, so thank you so much. Um, honestly means the world to us. All right, so it's been about two, three weeks since we installed the UHF and the radios and stuff, and the speakers and stuff. Um, yeah, they've been, I mean, I did a, done a good test of them all. Played a few fatty tunes on them, put them through their paces and they're heaps better they're than They're way ones. louder. Yeah, like night and day sort of difference. And uh, also even just with the aerial, like the old little one on the side, I don't know, the cable might have been shot or I don't know, it had water in it. So whether yeah. that made a difference. But yeah, I've been able to get good heaps better reception with this. Um, as you saw in the last bit of the video, so yeah, the bracket, um, we know someone that's good at welding. So he was able to get a pretty decent weld onto this bar but we pretty much welded it up so it's the same as the factory one here so they're matching um and yeah so. yeah let us know what you think we separated them so we got like one on that side one on that side Do you reckon yeah, I don't know. some people go for like goal post other people want them yeah all on one side because they say it can be annoying so, but um, um i reckon it came out pretty nice they look, they look good yeah, yeah yeah i think it's good so so yeah and um yeah in terms of um videos we're in a bit of a pandemic at the moment here in Victoria. Um, we're not allowed to leave the home unless we're like shopping or whatever. So it's, um, we're kind of reducing back to one a week at this stage. Um, hopefully we'll get some more going, but it's just sort of hard because we're not allowed to go forward driving. Like we can't leave. So mm. we're just going to be, um, we got to do have some videos still coming. Um, but yeah, it's going to be just bear with us basically is all I'm saying. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. Get a sticker if you want one. AussieArvo.com.au. Support the channel. And we'll see you next week in the next video.